guys, it's Leah, and welcome to Pictures and Paws, where we're going to be talking to women on the other side of menopause. We're here today at a bar at um, 11 a.m. with two old bitches. Hi, I'm Idelis Malave. One old bitch, and then the other old bitch is Joanne Sandler, bitch number two. Cheers! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh! Wait, I'm glad you guys know that. Which is, what is your craziest story? The thing is, when you're in your 60s, you have so many, many crazy, crazy stories. stories. Sorry. It's like the craziest. The craziest. Do I remember it? Right. <laughs> but my craziest yeah. is getting through three countries with the wrong passport. What's yours? Oh, one time, it was my friend's birthday, and we were coming back on a cross-country road trip, and I was looking at camping spots, and I saw this one that said Crawfish Festival at, like, a camping thing. You get there, and it's a nudist comedy. Like, I was hucking crawfish with this 90-year-old man who had, like, turquoise rings on, and we were just talking about life, and I was like, you know what, maybe I can see his dick right now, but I'm also eating crawfish, and we're just having a good time. Really cool. Can we have an address? What are your guys' bad habits about the uh, occasion? I've hit two cop cars. I really have. <coughs> I hit a cop car too. Oh, what's right? the worst lie you ever told? Oh, I have the worst lie. I have the worst lie. Sure I don't want to confess. I do. I do. I do. I don't know. So I killed off my grandmother. How many of us have killed off their grandmothers um, in school? <laughs> I mean, I am proud to say I only killed her off once. Was she already time. dead? No. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, no, she didn't die until like five or six years after. What is the secret sauce to life? For me, I think curiosity is probably the most important thing, the thing that sustains me, and that willingness to um, always try something new even if it's scary. So you all asked us to pose in our underwear, right? Um, like I said at the beginning, I'm 69 years old. Yeah. Who, who wants to be flaunting no. that? A part of me, like, it's sort of like, oh, no, no, no. Um, not happening, right? Um, and Joanne and I would talk about it. And I remember, I bet you do too, that one of the role models, right, that Joanne brought up was Lena, Lena, Dunham. Oh. Lena Dunham, right? She's sort of like, this is my body, yep. here it is, right? Even when you really want to exercise your agency, you need a little fuel for that, yeah. right? And that's part of the fuel. How do we inspire each other? How do we go, do it, do it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have to say, the thing about menopause, <laughs> like, it is wonderful not to have to think about, I need to bring stuff with me, I need to do it or whatever, you know, I need to have Advil or whatever that, whatever you have to take for granted. Like, that part is great. The part that for me was so intense that I could feel the estrogen like leaking out of my body. And that part was really hard. I, I like crave estrogen. I would eat it if I could. I would smear myself in cream. <laughs> I want estrogen. <laughs> you know, I, I remember that women would look at me sorrowfully, you know, near my age and go, you must miss it so much, you know, the, the your period. The cycle of life, right? The cycle of life, being in unison with the, you know, whatever, right? And I, there is the bad part of being invisible and seen as passe, that it erodes your sense of belonging. It's sort of like, I'm still here. You know, I'm still here. I just have a different function, perspective, but I'm still here and I matter. Mm -hmm. So, cheers, cheers. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And can you nurture your bitchy self, please? Yes. <laughs> For decades to come. For decades to come. I like that.